Okay, so we just spent the last hour in Foundry Boot Camp setting up character sheets, macros, uh, going over updates and all that. So that's why we are an hour behind tonight. But we're going to do a quick recap and then jump back into the campaign. So last time, which was a month ago, uh, you guys had traveled down the river, um, gone to the Dead Falls, set up camp, waited for the Ultros to appear. Ultros rose up from the underworld. Uh, you boarded it. It turned out it was haunted and full of ghosts. You went on a haunted house tour that revealed to you the history of uh, Esther Arkelander. Um, fought a few bad guys, uh, talked to some others, and then finally went back uh, to the, the upper decks of the ship where you confronted Esther. Uh, Esther uh, tried his best to, uh, to use diplomacy, but apparently he ha is very, very bad at that skill uh, because he got a fireball in the face uh, for his efforts. And then we were off to the races with a very difficult uh, battle. The fight raged on for three rounds, uh, at which point a uh, cul culminating, culminating uh, energy that had been building behind uh, Esther finally um, was launched uh, at the party, exploding in a spectral uh, ball of flame that we don't know exactly what it does, but that's when we all decided we were tired and we went to bed. So, uh, let's head back over to the ship. And I probably should have preloaded it while I was giving the thing. Oh, man. I'll get the hang of this program eventually. All right. You should have seen a little bar appear that said, like, preloading. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and I then I make it active, and we all get sent over there. Sweet. Wait, did Hypatia drop the spell? The drop what spell? spell? The concentration. <laughs> drop in large and Phil can get out of it. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh yeah. man. Yeah. Good memory. Yeah. That was the thing you were asking yeah. about from yeah. way, way back. Okay. Yes, I did that. Okay. I'll uh, do that now as we speak. Okay. Uh, let's see. Not we know concentrating. Who's, we know Who's in that aura? So it's all good. All right. Let me I, turn on some Muzaks real quick. This is a little too chill for this uh, this particular fight. Can you tell I watched your videos? <sighs> Did what it do you myself. Mean? Oh dang! <laughs> all right. Uh, here we go. All right, this combat music coming in a little low, but you can adjust to taste. Um, if anybody gets seasick from the moving background, please let me know. Don't suffer in silence. I can always turn off the animation if uh, it is bothering you. Um, all right, so this fireball is going to go off. Uh, it's affecting, gosh, um, like all the U's. Uh, like like that yeah everybody that's in there um mm, that's gonna be rough uh anna it's not gonna affect you right because you're that was, that was the question uh, i was gonna ask if he's is he doing it on the ground in the middle of everyone is he doing it up in the air uh he was blasted the ground okay. uh so it would be yeah it wouldn't hit you and now that phil's drunk it would not hit phil all right. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Uh, I'll go through and I guess select some people. There we go. Okay. And oh, uh, the initiative tracker is set up correctly. There we go. And so let me pop mine out. The screen does get a little crowded for the DM. That's one of the things I'm a little sad about. It's pretty, pretty crowded. Uh, 
I believe he cast this as soon as his turn was over, right? So right after Soul went is where we're at in initiative. So let me go. There we go. All right, so she's she's dead skis. So there we go. All right. Um, yeah. All right, cool. So once again, let me try to select. What? really that big? Yeah. Well, why wouldn't he be that big? I mean, I asked him how big his miniature should be. He told me that's how big it was to be. So <laughs> you, you, wait. <laughs> you call him a liar? <laughs> is, is there a way to make is there a way to make it not say unknown creature on the tracker if we've met them and know their name uh, um that's something that I could look into um but but not tonight yeah okay so um alright here we go so I'm gonna use this hellfire orb on all those people that got targeted. All right. So if you are targeted by the attack, uh, you may have been prompted to make a save. I don't know. If you were not prompted to make a save, uh, you can click where it says save DC 16 while you're holding uh, onto your miniature. And uh, that will determine how much damage you take for this attack. 43 points of fire, 34 points of necrotic damage. That's a lot of damage. I am insta dead. Insta dead, sweet. All right. Uh, so like massive damage, insta dead? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah massive okay. damage. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Expected result. Um, Me too. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm Talus? out, but not dead. Okay. How do you apply the damage thing to? Um, so you mouse, when you mouse over it, there'll be some buttons. You're going to pick the person with the le uh, negative arrow, and that will apply it to you. Uh, or if you want to do half damage, you would do the second uh, thing, which is apply half damage. Okay. That's your life. All right. Let's up Okay. She's pretty much out of here, so we'll just we'll just do that. Okay. Um Alright. Uh that brings us to uh the Spectres. Alright. So mm-hmm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay. Uh Spectre is going to uh, well, now that you're down, Astraeus, does that mean your all your guys are done too? Your Twilight Sanctuary and your other thing? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. Uh, in that case, this spook will fly in uh, towards Talus. Uh, these spooks will move in here, and uh, yeah, they're just gonna just gonna go to town, move, moving in on everybody. All right. Oops. Sorry, I was trying to turn it off. Oh, no worries. Uh, all right. So fly up to Birdo and so on and so forth. Uh, this one will fly up to Anna. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, these guys will fly over here. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Philippa Threes, who is keeping an eye on Lorius. Uh, let's see. Reset, you are down. Uh, this dude, Esther, is going to go ahead and use a Paragon action to attack your body on the ground. Uh, making eye contact with, uh, with Kyra the entire time that he is doing so. Uh, here we go. Uh, 17? Miss. Miss. Alright. Uh, 
that brings us to uh, Astraeus, who is you just out completely. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, uh, all dead, right, dead. no death save, dead. All right, as that turn ends, uh, he will uh, once again try to stab at Reset, who's just barely hanging on, kind of moving out of the way as the blade comes down. Uh, he brings this Warhammer down. Uh, 20 for 16. Yep. Okay. Uh, that takes us to Philippocles. Alright, um... Um, yeah, I mean, I can't really afford to take, like, opportunity attacks, so, like, I'm just kind of, like, getting hoarded by all these ghosts, so I'm just mm. gonna make two attacks at them. Alright. Uh, yeah. Uh, one for 15. I'm aiming right. for the ones on this side of the boat. Okay, the ones that are over here? Yeah, so let, right. let's say that one was for this toothy ghost. Gotcha. Oh, I should have targeted them, I'm sorry. Um, oh, no, you don't have to do that. I mean, I, I, I we've been playing D&D for a while, at World 20 for yeah. a while. I, I, I could still do all the stuff. I don't need the, I don't need the tools. Um, all right, so 27 for 15. Uh, this one. one vanishes. All right, then I'm going to attack this one. Do you see what I'm targeting? Oh, well, if you want me to see what you're doing, then yeah, definitely double right click, because that'll throw a target up on it. Okay. And uh, we also have the long we have the long press mod, too. So if you ever want to do the long press, you just uh, left click long press. And you guys now have the ability to shift long press to move the camera to what you're pointing at. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah. Well, Okay, so second attack on that one. Uh, yeah, you swing high in the air and it. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I deleted you. Oh, there we go. Uh, these token uh, token stacks are a real pain in the ass. Um, all right, so you swing through one. It uh, just disperses into shadow. We missed. Uh, you swing on the other. Uh, it lets out a pitiful wail as you rend its essence and it disappears as well. Yeah, and I guess as a free action is like I look like I'm trying to like make my way like towards Xander, just like all the ghosts around me. And yeah, I'm they're all like, like dragging on you. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Driver, snap out of it. Do something, Auntie. And that's all right. Uh, as your turn ends, Reset, are you still alive? Because that's just gonna totally smash your brains. Yep. All right. He uh, brings the uh, Xyphos of Slaughter down. And misses. Nah, he misses. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, let's see. Okay. That brings us to uh, Bullbug, who is traps. Hypatia, who is uh, dead. Uh, let me check something out real quick. Oh man. Okay. Uh, as he is uh, attacking Reset, and Reset is like running completely on instinct, just sort of twitching and moving out of the way, avoiding these killing blows at the last second, bleeding from wounds, uh, ribs obviously broken. Uh, you see tears streaming down her face uh, as she is shouting at him to stop, and he is just laughing and laughing as uh, he continues to swing on Reset, who in no way uh, is able to stop it, and there is a sickening crunch uh, as he finishes her off. Uh, Davos continues to sail the boat. Uh, Lorius, uh, I believe, was freed from the ghost, but is just sort of clinging to Philippothrees at this point. Uh, completely out of his depth as you guys sail through the Nyx. Uh, watching as you guys are dismantled by these ghosts. 
That takes us to the top of the next round. Uh, Kyra's turn comes up. She looks over at the charred remains of beautiful Hypatia, her snakes all looking like over-crisp hot dogs uh, at a summer barbecue. Uh, Astraeus just sort of collapsed and cooked inside his armor. What's left of Karina, just a you know charcoal briquette underneath Reset, uh, whose chest has just been caved in. Uh, by this warhammer, she looks up at Anna. She looks over at Talus, who is on his last, uh, you know, fumes. Basically, she looks over at her nephew, who is assailed by ghosts on all sides, uh, and she looks at Esther, and he laughs harder than ever, uh, and he says, "So now you know how it feels to have your heart ripped out." When I needed you most, you were gone. You left me. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have fallen for Lutheria's tricks. You did this to me. You did this to all of us. And now, one by one, I'm going to take everything that you love and I'm going to break it over and over again. And then, I'm gonna break you. And she uh, she looks down, and you see like a, a smile kind of spread across her face. And she kind of looks up at Anna and nods kind of sadly in that way that combat stretches forever in a six second combat round when traumatic shit's happening. And, uh, she opens her eyes wide and there is a bright blinding orange light uh, from her chest and from her eyes and from her mouth uh, Esther narrows his eyes uh, in confusion and she says uh, for someone that's so fucking obsessed with me you think you'd stay up to date on current events you see Esther I'm a fucking god now and I told you to give up this ship. Uh, and there is uh, an explosion of light as she falls to the deck uh, unconscious. Uh, as she does, uh, those of you who are down, uh, you are back up uh, at 50% health. Those of you who were up, you were at full health. Uh, and you see Esther, caught in the blast, uh, begin to howl uh, and scream as uh, his flesh and hair and uh, lovely beard uh, burn away. Uh, what is left behind is uh, an abomination. Uh, let's see. I'll move this Esther way off to the side so that I can keep him at initiative. Uh, there he goes. Goodbye! Yep. Good job, buddy. Um, and in his place is uh, a hideous skeletal uh, apparition. Barely solid. Uh, you can see completely through this creature. Uh, its eyes glow with an ominous blue light. And uh it lets out a bemoaning wail. It looks down at its meatless body, uh, and the wail turns to one of rage and shame. Uh, it clutches at itself as though nude and trying to hide uh, its true form from you. And as its eyes blaze, uh, you see a scythe of glowing energy uh, extend from the creature's arm. Um... Anastasia, to you. Oh boy. Okay. That was a lot. Um. Uh. I I am on. Yeah. 
I'll use my last spell slot to uh, just guiding bolt him as he's reeling from the, the energy watching over him tearing him. I'm just going to try and add to it with a guiding bolt. Alright. Um, I'm going to do this. Hopefully it asks me. Um, level 3. Yes, so. Oh. I'm just going to roll it, I guess. It's not letting me. It's, uh, the pack slots isn't uh, being calculated, so I have no spell slots to cast it. Oh, so go to your tab. Um, this is another one of those microscopic tech situations. Uh, go to the spell tab, and you're going to see in barely perceptible gray font that's microscopic, uh, number slash number, and that's where you put in your um, your spell slots. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's, I don't know what it does for warlocks, though. But, yeah. I mean, j just just make it work. Just yeah. make it work. <laughs> uh, let me try it one more time. Um, uh, I I got you here. And level 3 slot. And go. Ah, uh, yeah, that is going to hit. Um, as you blast... Uh, the diminished form of Esther Arkelander, uh, a 21 most assuredly hits. He takes 23 points of damage, uh, and he seems to be quite vulnerable to radiant damage, uh, taking 46 points of damage. Oh. All right. And then... uh, also, the next attack against him is going to be at advantage. And bonus action. Um... Alice, do you have half your health, or...? Or...? or... Uh, Talos would Talos. be at full, because he wasn't downed, so... When, okay. uh, when, when, yeah, when Kyra, uh... So that. <laughs> I got it. Okay, oh. I will save my thing, then. Um, and my turn is over. Okay. Uh, let's see... Uh, Spoopy Ghost has uh, one Paragon action left from his uh, pool. He is going to command his minions uh, to attack. Uh, so these three around Phil are going to attack. And then the one next to Anna, assuming you're still 50 feet up, is going yeah. to attack. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Alright, let's see what's going on there. Oh, okay. Uh, this should work. I'm gonna say that a lot for the first couple weeks. This should work. Um, okay. Uh, Anna, this one's for you. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, good thing that was from uh, a little ghost and not the the boss. Um, wow, wow. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Well, the boss already crit me when the spell the, oh, the cards yeah. were in the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, okay. Yeah, DC 10 can't save. Uh, so that's fine. And then... Let's see... Uh, this creature is only going to roll a D6 for severity. There we go. Alright. Uh, so necrotic damage on a 4. Um, you feel apathy. Uh, so you have one point of distraction. Uh, because you are so sad from the necrotic energy that is effused your body. I don't know if that has any other impacts on you, but you're very sad <laughs> right What I'm now. sad, I can't fly, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, you should probably safely land then. I wouldn't say that you just fall 50 feet to your death. Okay, but, okay. Uh, it's definitely, me. yeah. I'll t that's awesome, um, I'll go with that. So, distracted, uh, your discomfort and pain, distracted penalties do stack. While distracted, no reactions. 
uh, and disadvantage to perception and concentration checks. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, each point of distractor requires a DC 10 medicine check or a single dedicated point of healing to remove. Uh, a dedicated point of healing does not heal hit points. It gets rid of effects. Um, so that is the situation that you are in. What's some healing uh, check? It's medicine? Dis uh, yeah, medicine. Yep. All right. Um... In that case, uh, Phil, these three are for you. One, two, and three. Uh, the first two are going to be at plus two for flank. That 17 was a one, but it bounced off another dice, so I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> I will trust the I will trust the computer, Dora. Um, I don't know. The, the were you reckless or hit. no? No, I no, I haven't been reckless this whole okay. fight. Okay, so then the third one hits. Reckless. Give me a DC 10 Constitution save and take uh, two points of necrotic damage. I oh yeah, did. okay. Yeah, I guess you did. Great. All right. Yeah. Um all right. Next up in the initiative is uh Dianthus. All right. Uh Dianthus is, uh, is looking around uh at the battle um with a look of uh, bored interest that barely hides her excitement and interest. Uh, as she looks over at Esther, she gets a wry smile on her face, uh, and he cries it out, Hey, Telf, look at me! Look away! Uh, and she, uh, she lets loose a, uh, a long, uh, mean laugh, uh, as she watches him. Uh, reset to you. Okay, uh, gasping for breath, um, I look Got down it. at my chest, which is... I guess no longer caved in. Uh, correct. Um, just, yeah, just I'm going a little to... dented. Just a little dented. You know. So. Yep. I'm going to um, kind of start crawling. I'm going to put a leg or a hand on his leg and just pull myself up while holding on to his, like, just crawling up his his body. Okay. Kind of. It's sort of like his, yeah. his tendrils. Uh, but yeah, yeah. You could start pulling yourself yeah. up. Uh, he looks down at you in horror. Um, and he's just like, don't touch me. I'm not dead yet. And I'm going to stab him twice in the neck. Oh, damn. All right. Mm. Uh, so the first one would have missed, even okay. with the advantage. The 23? Uh, the first one is a 12, yeah? Uh, right. first one would be 13. Uh, uh, I don't know if uh, he has any... Uh, 13 actually hits. Oh, okay. So he takes 5 from that one. Okay. And then 7 from the second one. And then I'm going to lift up um, the Lion Shield of Vulcan. And I'm just going to smack smack it on him and call it to tell it to roar. This Dang. is a thunder wave. So where are you going to place the thunder wave so that it does that hit your oh. your, oh, your fill uh, I'm actually going to move move to the left okay. a little bit. Go for it. Yeah, like that. And then... So it's a 3x3, three three, so you're going to blast Dianthus uh, and Karita's body? Oh. Karina, yeah. Is Karina there? I can't see her. Well, yeah, I mean, what's left of her is there. I mean, obviously, if you blast her, then the bones will just kind of scatter across the dicks. That'll be the end of that. Uh, but, I mean, it's 6 Can I move? Cover. Yeah, you can, can move Can I move there. underneath that specter? Yeah. yeah, he's 50 feet in the air. He doesn't care. Yeah, yeah. So then I'll just blast uh, this this area. Okay. I mean, Phil. <laughs> Phil, be fine. All right. Um, you, you're still gonna blast all of Karina's bones to bits, but uh, unless you're gonna hit Phil with it. No, no, no. Karina's, I'm gonna Karina's hit Phil bones to Phil. Phil. All right, go for it. Give me that check. Yeah. Phil, you want to make this check so you don't get knocked off the side of the ship. So. It's a DC 14. Oh yeah, what? no problem. Oh, he's no fine. Problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, DC 14. So one from this little guy. And then uh, Esther's got to bake one. 
Uh, they both make it, uh, but they do take some damage. Yep. All right. Anything else from reset? Nope, that's all my action. All right. Uh, that will bring us to Talus. All right. I am going to uh, cast Healing Spirit over Hyra. Okay. Uh, I don't think I brought your beautiful tree healing spirit back yet. Uh, I could go. Oh God. Wow, that is a uh, that's huge. Uh, that's we don't cool. need all that. Yeah, we don't need all that. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I'll grab it real quick. Uh, let's see. Where are you at, Thy? Where are you at, Thylea? Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shit. What did I name it? All right, I'll have to track it down. I'm sorry, I can't find it. Um, for now, we'll just, just have to use. Time. Yeah, okay. Well, for now, yeah, we'll just keep track of it. Sorry about that. Uh, I thought I had grabbed everybody. Um, okay, then what else are you doing? Because healing uh, spirit's a bonus action, so you still have your action. All right, and as the action will uh, attack. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, the advantage is gone because right. Reset used it up. Wasn't he always raging? Uh, that's uh, true. Yeah, he's always, always yeah, reckless. he's always reckless. So yeah, all your attacks have advantage against him. Um. All right, so yeah, 21 hits for 21 damage. Holy shit. Um, okay. Want to make use of that uh, illegal poop? Yeah, yeah. Uh, contraband. What else you got? Uh, you got one more attack if you want to take it. Critical hit. Okay. Uh, let's see. You are. Uh, fifth level, so roll 2d4 for me. You could just click the little triangle twice and hit enter. It's down at the bottom of the screen. There it goes. Uh, now, could you roll 2d4 for me? Just, oh, I think he was doing the modifier of accident. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Um, all right, a six. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Slashing damage on a six. All right. Uh, unfortunately, this guy could not get blood in his eyes uh, and bleed. Um, so you will just have to deal six extra damage to him instead. Uh, so 17 plus 11, 28 points of damage. Uh, though he does seem to be resisting it, if it is in fact a non-magical weapon. It is not. So All right. Weapon. All right. Yeah. And it's probably down in the underworld at this point. So. Um. Yeah, for real. He's training hard being Amazon. Um. Anything else from Talus? Uh, no, it's gonna be it. Okay. Uh, you. Uh, finished turn. Esther's turn pops up, uh, and he uh, regains his five Paragon actions and his one Legendary action. Uh, he looks around at all of you. Uh, he looks at uh, Kyra uh, on the ground. Uh, he looks around at everyone here, and 
Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, he will begin floating upwards towards Anna. Uh, reset, you can take an opportunity attack if you would like. I will. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's that is, that is going to hit. Uh, do you have Sentinel? Yeah. No, I don't have Sentinel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you think, you're thinking of the only other monk in the world, Beauregard. Um, but, uh, all right. Uh, Esther flies past you. You take a swipe at him. Uh, bits of ectoplasm go everywhere, and he is beelining it for you, Anna. Um... As he floats up to you, uh, he readies his uh, wicked scythe and uh, is going to bring it to bear. Uh, yeah, uh, here we go. Uh, 26 uh, for 14 points of necrotic damage. Uh, additionally, I need you to make a charisma saving throw, DC 14, uh, or become marked for death. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, it's really taken. Uh, charisma save. No. Yeah, these these all came in from World 20, so they're not set up to do like click here to automatically um, make uh, you know make saving throws. All that jazz. No, no worries. We're all alert of the new program. Uh, 16. All right, so you just take the necrotic damage. Uh, he floats up next to you. He's about 45 feet up at this point. Um, his layer action uh, happened at 20, um, so it's technically before his turn. Uh, he will use his layer action to summon more specters. Uh, so he summons up three more specters, uh, from deeper down in the ship. They rise up from the floor, uh, to join the battle. Hey, Crash here, the DM. We had a computer crash, uh, the one that was streaming the game and uh, it never really recovered. Uh, Anastasia, who does the streaming, was able to continue playing, but the stream itself never righted itself. Uh, none of us were set up to backup stream, so the second half of the session is lost. But I will do my best to tell you how the rest of the fight went and what happened next. Uh, so the video cuts out right as uh let's move some peeps around here right as esther his form diminished by uh kyra's sacrifice uh floats away for phil takes some opportunity uh attacks i believe uh flies up to anastasia and um starts pounding on her uh links their souls together with uh his scythe attack and then smashes her with his warhammer. She crashes into the ground. Right before she hits the ground, uh, Hypatia, uh, who's right over here. Uh, I think she was over here at the time. Hypatia uses a reaction. Feather fall. Anastasia lands on top of Kyra's uh, body. But Astraeus, so infuriated by what's happening... Uh, hits Esther with his spiritual weapon and uh, blasts him, uh, just wrecking him, just wrecking him. But in doing so, causes two failed death saves on Anastasia. So, uh, Hypatia on her turn runs over, grabs a potion, and uses it on Anastasia. Um, meanwhile, uh, Esther, now super jacked up, uh, wants to get away from Phil, uses Paragon actions to start moving across the ship. He's zeroing in on Talus. Uh, next. Astraeus is bogged down by specters, more and more being summoned every round. Dianthus, the spirit of the ship, has backed away so that she can get a good view of the action. Uh, curious to see what will happen. 
Phil takes a bunch of opportunity attacks to begin flying after uh, Esther. Uh, flying over to check on Anna and then flying the rest of the way to try to catch up with Esther. However, he's just short of the movement he needed to catch up. Uh, at this point, his power diminished. Bullbug uh, breaks free of the spells that were binding him and rushes over to assist Astraeus with the specters. Meanwhile, uh, Esther um, is nearly killed by Talus, but Talus does not manage to do it, uh, missing with uh, the second attack. Uh, Astraeus, same thing, misses with an attack that could have killed him. Esther flies down. Uh, takes his scythe and links his spirit to Talus's now instead, um, the link having been shattered on Anastasia by Hypatia. So, Esther um, has now linked his soul with Talus's and is tearing him to pieces. Uh, at this point, Talus is nearly dead. Uh, Phil finally flies over. Uh, brings Xander's axe down, cleaves his spectral skull in twain, and kills Esther. Uh, at which point, they expected all of the specter adds to disappear. They did not. Uh, as Talus lies dying on the ground, Phil flies over and helps Bullbug and Astraeus fight the specters. Hypatia uh, notices the specters looking over to Dianthus for direction now that Esther is gone, walks up, and basically says, are we done here? Uh, Dianthus uh, nods, and the specters all return to work, and thus ends the battle against Esther, Archelander, and the reclamation of the Ultros. So now, with... Uh, Esther Archelander defeated and the ship claimed, uh, the party still finds themselves soaring through the Nyx, uh, essentially the ethereal plane uh, of Thylea, uh, made of, of dreams and magic and uh, all sorts of other spooky stuff. Uh, Davos continues to sail the ship uh, under the direction of Dianthus. Uh, their goal is Mitros. However, Talus is still on the ground and still dying. When Esther was killed, he took another failed death save, and his time is almost up. Uh, however, uh, his allies rush to his aid, administer a potion to him, and restore him. Uh, he looks around for the shattered remains of Peritos, and as he does, he discovers uh, Esther's weapon. Uh, the Xiphos of Slaughter, uh, which is this bad boy right here. Uh, he picks up the weapon, uh, and it feels good uh, in his grip. Uh, it is a plus two short sword of wounding. Now, Kyra lies dead on the ground. The party is used to Kyra playing possum, uh, so assumes this is yet another uh, overly dramatic um, gesture. Philippocles and Anna rush to her, and as Phil goes to uh, pick her up in his arms, uh, she simply falls apart, uh, turning into particles of uh, orange light that begin to trail uh, through him and along the ship out into the Nyx. Uh, she completely uh, disappears. At this point, Anastasia and Phil are devastated. Uh, Lorius and Philippothrees rush in for emotional support, uh, seeing an opportunity for hugs. A uh, bullbug rushes in. Um, but in the end, uh, their sorrow and confusion is great. Uh, Dianthus informs them that they will arrive in Mitros eventually but that it is for the best that they get some sleep uh, because the Nyx uh, will take a tremendous toll on the living if they continue to stay here. Uh, and in sleep, the journey can be sped along since Nyx is a realm of dreams. Um, the party, uh, some accept and some refuse, but eventually the magical songs of Dianthus 
uh, lure them into a slumber. Um, as they dream, Dianthus asks them if the ship will pursue the path of the living or the path of the dead. Uh, at which point we used true democracy and the party voted on what would happen. So in the end, they decided the ship should take the path of the living, in which case it lost all of its spectral uh, ghostly powers. The hundreds of souls bound to the ship were freed, uh, as well as Davos and the other uh, lieutenants of Esther Archelander. All that remains is Dianthus, who, bound to the ship, uh, could never be freed from it. So, that's what happened after the battle. So, once the party woke uh, from the dream that they had found themselves in, they uh, realized that they and the ship... Uh, we're back in Mitros. Uh, the ship, no longer a ghostly vessel, uh, was simply an old and neglected uh, warship, uh, covered in the remnants of the ghostly ectoplasm and uh, thick algae of the sea. Uh, the ship has no crew and is in ill repair. Uh, it falls upon the heroes then to repair the ship by mundane means and find a crew of the living uh, before they can set sail into the Cerulean Gulf. This is alright, because they need some time off to rest uh, and level up, because they did reach level 6. As they were getting their bearings out of them, a great crowd of citizens arrived to behold the spectacle of the Ultros uh, returned and the great heroes who had done so. This attracted the attention of two of King... Um, <laughs> uh, two of the king's uh, dragon lords who flew down to investigate what was going on. Uh, these guys right here. And uh, basically, the party informed them that they had succeeded in the final task and uh, said to tell the king that the ship had been recovered. Uh, excited about the, this prospect, the dragon lords uh, flew off and the party decided that they needed to meet with the queen uh, to basically get a political game plan together uh, before they went before the king. So, Astraeus uh, rested from his magical slumber aboard the ship, uh, cast a sending spell to Vallis, and told her to meet them at the Temple of the Five. So, they traveled over to the Temple of the Five, uh, wherein they met with Vallis. Vallis looked for Karina, who had died uh, in the fight, uh, her body uh, burned and charred um, beyond the repair of uh, Revivify, uh, more than likely beyond the repair of Ray's Dead. And she looked for Karina and she looked for her sister and saw neither. Um, the party tried to explain what had happened, and when she heard what Kyra had done, uh, tears came to her eyes, a uh, hand went over the mouth as if in shock. Uh, Philippocles embraced her, and the two awkwardly uh, stood there holding each other as the Queen of Mitros fought back tears uh, for her dead sister. And that is where we ended the session. So, we'll continue next week, uh, try to figure out what the party will do next. Um, thanks for watching.